hey guys welcome to the next session in the session we are going to see how we can uh, save the animation which we have generated in the previous session we have seen how we can uh, run the uh, simulation for the more for the assembly which we have uh, created now we would see how we can save the uh, preview of the uh, mechanism and how we do the work and we can uh, demonstrate it to further audience okay in order to save the uh, save the generated simulation it would uh, uh, it would require very much uh, less time okay we'll just uh, close it and uh, under the playback option click the playback now we can see that the uh, generator current set playback and this is open and this is uh, save right uh, actually uh, uh, this save option would save the playback mechanism uh, only in the recognized format uh, of the Creo okay we can't uh, run this uh, simulation in any of the uh, video playback softwares so uh, if you'd like to save the uh, mechanism and this is particularly a mechanism analysis uh, playback file okay uh, this one it is uh, format is only uh, recognizable to the creo okay if you would like to save this format you just save uh, directly uh, using this okay uh, in order to save the uh, current uh, playback option uh, in any of the uh, uh, like any of the common formats like mp4 3gp and mpeg formats you just uh, run the current playback uh, once you run uh, just uh, run it for uh, just visualize it uh, this is the current uh, playback okay uh, under this uh, animate dialog box you would find an object or find a button called capture you just click on the capture button uh, you just click the capture button uh, you would see that capture dialog box opens uh, on that uh, you can give the respective target place and respective uh, file name for your uh, playback file you just click on the open file folder you can see the uh, path of the file uh, and you can choose the file name uh, here i would like to give the title as a beam okay once you are over uh, you can select a type uh, there are uh, impact jpeg uh, BMP, TIFF and EAV files available uh, or uh, which uh, MPEG and EAV are the most commonly used video playback file formats. Uh, these formats are uh, supported in almost uh, all of the video playback uh, video softwares, video players. Okay, now in this case I would like to select a format as AVI. Uh, if you want to change the width and height of the output file, you can change over here. You can change the pixels. Uh, the frame rate to default there is uh, 25 frames per second you can also vary that one uh, in order to improve the uh, quality of the file and uh, compression uh, you can also select the compression type over here okay once you are uh, specified all the necessary parameters for the video playback capturing uh, just click ok and wait for the software to generate the uh, file you can see at the top uh, sorry you can see that the bottom left corner the frames are being generated once it is over uh, it would uh, disappear and you can close and uh, you just go to the target location the new file would be present see uh, the beam beam file as beam AV file has been created and the analysis definition that is uh, in the pbk format uh, it is the analysis uh, the format uh, it is only recognizable to the creo software okay uh, for uh, our uh, video softwares to recognize we need to provide some basic formats like avi okay we just now open it and see how it is uh you can see that the file has been created uh the quality is being very much uh, low you can vary that frames per second options in order to have some more uh clear uh formats clear more uh, you can you can specify more pixels in order to improve the quality of the file okay once you are uh, finished with it uh you can save it and you can uh, share it with the file to your uh, friends and uh, colleagues okay this is how the basic uh, operation of the uh, basic steps which we should follow in order to save our playback files right
uh, I hope uh, you would have found the uh, sessions the complete course uh, a useful one so uh, to practice the uh, software to practice the commands in the software and uh, have a touch with it in the regular interval in order to have the sense of uh, the necessary uh, steps which we which we have uh, followed okay these are the steps which we need to follow in order to uh, save the playback of save the playback files uh, for our uh, assembly simulations right uh, in the next session, uh, we will see how we can generate the data sheets as well as the uh, bill of materials for our uh, uh, assembly. Okay, uh, we shall see in the next one. So keep practicing and don't forget to practice. Uh, have a great day. Happy learning. Bye bye.